Mohs surgery is a special procedure for skin cancer, and Dr. John Strasswimmer of Boca Raton Community Hospital joins us to talk about this this afternoon and a little bit about skin cancer as well. It's nice to have you with us today. Mohs surgery, exactly what is it? Mohs surgery is a relatively new advanced technique for treating skin cancer. Skin cancer was traditionally diagnosed and treated by dermatologists or by other surgeons using what's called a wide excision technique, whereby one examines the cancer and then cuts out an extra piece of skin wider or deeper around that area. To get everything? To get everything out in one shot. That has two inherent problems to it. Sometimes we remove too much skin, and you can imagine skin cancers which can arise any part of the body, such as the eyelids, the nose, the lips. If you remove too much skin, that can cause a great deformity. But more importantly, the way that cancer is tested once removed is the same technique that's used for breast cancer or colon cancer or liver cancer for mm. specimens that are a foot long or, right. or a millimeter long. Dr. Mohs, starting in the 1930s actually, advanced the technique that we now do today, which allows us to remove only the growth with an absolute minimum margin. But you get great accuracy? That's actually the second advantage of that, is that the accuracy, because the quality of the pathology is higher, the chance of the cancer being cured for good is uh, raised about five-fold. All types of skin cancer qualify for a Mohs surgery when it has to be removed? Well, most people are familiar with the, the basic types of skin cancers, either through themselves or through their grandparents, such as basal cell cancer, which is the most common one, squamous cell cancer, which is the second most common one, and melanoma, which is the most deadly one. In addition, there are around 200 other types of skin cancers, which are exceedingly rare. And that's why it's very important for a Mohs surgeon to be intimately familiar with the pathology and the presentation of all of those types of skin cancers. Is there scarring? Absolutely. Anytime the body heals, the body heals by producing a scar. Now the question is, is it a visible scar or a deforming scar? A Mohs surgeon is usually a dermatologist, board certified, who has then completed an additional one to two years of what's called fellowship training. During that fellowship, the Mohs surgeon is trained in the precise cancer removal, the precise Mohs pathology, and, at least as important, all of the reconstructive surgery. So it's, it's all done under one roof. It's very specialized then. Yes, in fact, for example, my practice is only Mohs surgery, is much there, like a cardiologist would practice only right. cardiology. Is there one type of, of cancer that this is, or in one location on the body where perhaps this is a better surgery than another's, or perhaps the better way to phrase that is, do you use it to, uh, the old or original type of surgery rather than Mohs in some cases? The original type of excisional surgery is an excellent technique and in places in the body where scar is less important or the chance of the cancer coming back is less important such as the arms, the backs, the legs, the traditional excision approach is still what's used. However, in areas such as on the eyelids, on the lips, on the nose, and on the ears, every millimeter counts because it can be the difference between a very straightforward little mm -hmm. line scar or a more complex type of flap or graft procedure. Well, thank you so much for the information and the time. We appreciate it. Dr. John Strasswimmer from Boca Raton Community Hospital. And the hospital, Boca Raton Community Hospital, sponsors our expert for today's segment and is also the sponsor for Ask the Doctor. We're back with more in just a moment.